Well, Halloween is right around the corner. The sights and sounds can make for a spooktacular night. That is, if you like being frightened. So why do some of us like getting scared while others don't? And what does fear do to our bodies? Good question. Here's Kirsten Mitchell. Looking for a scare? Well, fright this way. It's the season of thrills. I absolutely love Halloween. It's my favorite time of the year. And chills. What scares you? Jump scares. Spiders, centipedes are the worst. I like to see if people can actually scare me and do a good job at it. <laughs> like a challenge. Yeah. I like horror movies and haunted houses. One thing they have in common, a killer soundtrack. It's just eerie. And so you just don't know. Your eyes take a lot longer to realize that there's danger than your ears. Audiologist Jasmine Benson says we can thank nonlinear sounds for sending the shivers down our spine. Like the violins, for example. Like it's a pretty little melody and then Oh my gosh, it's, it's an, uh, an alert for us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Things like that that are more unnatural sounding are more frightening to us because we needed to be more aware of it to survive in, in the wild. So it's not the sound is actually scary in of itself, it's right. just that we are unfamiliar with it. Exactly. <laughs> when we experience fear, our body moves into a fight or flight response. Child psychiatrist Dr. Jessica Cece says that adrenaline rush can be enjoyable. Ready? <laughs> no. Come on, come on, come on. Especially in safe environments where we experience fear without real danger. Personally, I'm scared of spiders. I know some of my coworkers are too. There's a spider right here. You're killing it that's or fine. you're killing it. Yep. Yeah, I'll, kill I'll just it. pick I'll... it up and let it See go you. outside. Goodbye. Yeah. But that's not the case for everyone. So why does fear vary so much person to person? Yeah, we don't know for certain, but some studies suggest that there are differences in our brain chemistry. Are we born with fears or are they developed through lived experiences? There's a little bit of both. I mean, certain things we all are fearful um, about, or some things are more learned, so we take cues from our parents. Do you like being scared? You do? You sure? So whether you're in it for the tricks or the treats, Here, honey. we witch you. <laughs> A happy Halloween. In Cottage Grove, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Dr. Cece also told us that repeated exposure to certain scary situations can actually reduce your fear through increased tolerance.